Oh, hello there. Before this video starts, I'd like to address the elephant in the room. So the video you're about to watch, as well as my previous video with the Alucard statue, were both recorded about half a year ago in December. In fact, this particular video was recorded on the day of a release for Cyberpunk 2077. In fact, I had not yet played the game before unboxing the Collector's Edition. So in the video, I might seem very happy, joyful, excited even. But don't you worry, because that didn't last very long. As you may or may not know, Cyberpunk 2077 came out with a slew of problems and a ton of controversy revolving its development. It came out with a ton of bugs and glitches, and in my opinion, worst of all, missing features. But despite my ultimate disappointment with the game, the collector's edition was pretty darn cool, so I want to highlight it with this video nonetheless. And while I have your attention, I would also like to point out that despite the fact that the two, the only two videos I've released so far on this channel have both been unboxings, that's not the only kind of content that will be on this channel. In fact, that kind of content might be pretty rare and few and far between. It ultimately depends on what I'm getting, you know? Uh, I don't actually get anything from companies or anything like that. Now the actual kind of content you might see on this channel will usually just be revolving around topics such as video games, video game collecting as I am a collector, uh, retro video games, and also retro video game collecting because I am a collector. So if you're into any of those topics, consider subscribing to the channel and maybe ringing that bell so that you get informed when I release another video. And while I'm at it, if you end up liking this video, maybe click the like button and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. Anyway, not to keep you any more from the video, enjoy. Greetings gamers and welcome to The Handy Gamer. I'm Raz, The Handy Gamer. And uh, as you can see, I'm surrounded by cyberpunk stuff. Our main focus is obviously the big box over here, but we'll get to that in a sec. I'm going to start from over here and work my way over there. So these are two statues by Dark Horse Deluxe and CD Projekt Red. The one over here is, of, uh, is depicting the character Johnny Silverhand, played by the amazing, the breathtaking Keanu Reeves. You're breathtaking! And next to him we have uh, V, the protagonist of the game. And then we have a controller and docking station for an Xbox One controller. I'm gonna start with these two, because they're small and I wanna get them out of the way. Now, I've already ripped off the tape here on the sides, so now there's just a matter of opening it up. Ooh, that's a magnet, that's a magnet. I felt something magnetic there. And then, uh, how do you, oh, there we go. There we go, okay. This thing just comes out, and there's the docking station. And there it is. I'm gonna put that right there. And then you have, okay, this is, oh, okay, there's two parts. This is the back latch yeah, that you put on the back of the controller, I guess. This is the charger, which is not for my region, so I cannot use this. I'll just put that there. Ooh, okay, this is, this is back heavy, so it just <laughs> leans back. We got the actual battery with the little prongs on the back that um, connects to, I believe, the docking station. Now let's do the controller real quick. So, here's the controller. Oh, there was tape that was stuck there. There we go. Ooh, all right. I like it. What I didn't notice immediately until I took it out, and even in the, pro in the pictures of the device itself, I didn't notice the red part. There's a definite red part there. So, now that it's done, we really just gotta do this. And now it's charging. Let's move on to other things. We're gonna go with the statues. Let's start with everyone's favorite, Keanu Reeves and Johnny Silverhand. I'm gonna need my trusty knife for this. I know, handicap guy, weird arms, not perfect grip, drops things sometimes, knife. Don't worry about it. I've been around long enough to know, ha! Ah! No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna move this a bit further there. 
Come on, Johnny. Get out of there. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at you, Johnny. All right. Now, I did have a sneak peek through the front-facing opening of the package, so I saw a little bit of a preview of what he looks like, but obviously through all this plastic and stuff. But now I'm getting like a really good view of him just straight up. And uh, I gotta say, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now, I gotta admit, it doesn't have an amazing resemblance to Keanu Reeves. It, there is a little bit of a resemblance, but nothing... Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit off, I gotta admit. It's a little bit off. Now let's move on to V. Same thing here, you can kind of see him through the plastic. So I got an idea of what it's like, but it's not the same thing unless you see it, you know, close up without any, thing, any barriers in between. Uh, and actually it's not a bad idea to show off the box because it does have some really nice motifs on the back. There's V. Actually, already I, can, I think he looks better than uh, the Keanu Reeves one. Well, oh, okay. That went a little bit easier than Keanu. Is that, okay. There's a bit of dust on him, but other than that, he looks really, really good. Okay. Yeah. Alright. There. Okay, Alright, let's take a closer look at him. And he, just like Johnny Silverhand, has the Samurai logo on the back. Well, it looks dope, and I like it, and especially looks cool together with the Keanu Reeves statue. So there they are, right next to each other. That's the controller, the docking station, and these are the statues. They look really sweet, I gotta say. But um, there is something waiting for me over here. I think it's time to bring it out. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Oh. Now this is a really, really, really big box. You can't even see me anymore, I'm off screen. It's covering up all of me. And then, oh, that was not a fart, that was a... Uh, my finger running across the plastic. Here we go. Something gave. I don't know what to do next with this thing. We're supposed to, okay, this just comes up. All right, lifting. Here we go. Oh, I guess there's a latch here. You just lift. Ah, come on. Oh, here we go. Cyberpunk 20. 77, I almost have it, it's almost mine. Ah, yeah! Oh, it's heavy. Okay, you gotta appreciate just the supreme attention to detail. You gotta, you gotta give it, get it up to them, because even the styrofoam box has, and I don't know if it's visible, but it has the Cyberpunk logo etched into it. Now that's pretty fucking sweet, I gotta say. Now I'm gonna save the statue for last um uh, i was gonna i was gonna ask like how do you open this but you can actually see there's arrows here and i guess you just grab this and and just lift all right <laughs> this this is cool this is really cool so this i guess is the development team all signed there we go now this is Let's see, is there anything? Okay, here, here's the box art. Now what's this? Yeah, it says, okay, it says post office down in the corner. Should be in the middle of the screen here. It says uh, NC, uh, Night City Post Office. So yeah, these are postcards. Is 
Is it a map? Could it be a map? I think it, oh, I think it's a map. It looks like a map. And then we have this. World Compendium. Okay, so this is like backstory. So for those of you who don't know, this game is based on, I believe, a tabletop game from the 80s. So here's the thing. Games these days, when you pop them in, when you pop a disc into your console, they have like patches, DLC, and other stuff they need to download. And with this game, I expect it to be absolutely massive. So before I continue unboxing everything else that's in here, I'm just gonna go pop this into my Xbox and let it download while I do this. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. What the? What is that? What? What the? Uh, get out of here, you old man. You geezer. It's time for the new freshness. Yeah. Also of interest is that, as you can see, the case comes, or the front part of the game is a picture of uh, B, the male version. That's what it looks like. But if you take a look, you'll see that the, it's reversible. The, the cover is reversible, and if you reverse it, you will get the female V on the front. So if you're playing female V and you want to play that, and you want to see that on the box art, just flip that sucker around and you got the female V on there. Art book. The official art book of Cyberpunk 2077. Now this, this, this looks special. So let's see if we can see some beautiful artwork. First page, nothing. I hope it gets better than this. I gotta look through the whole thing because there's like, I don't know how many pages, but quite a lot of pages. And how many pages is this so far? What does it say? Okay, everything is upside down. I think it says 96. So there's probably like 200 pages here, I'm guessing. That was dope. Um, what else? All right, what's this? Evidence. Night City Police Department. Oh, okay. It's like a visitor's guide. Or actually it says a nomad's guide to Night City. We have, I think, yeah, this is a steel case. Steel case in the game. Wow, not bad. You know what? I immediately love it. You know why? Because take a look at this. You see that? Is that visible? It says Cyberpunk on the side, on the spine. I love it that, that a steel case has that. They're kind of, look, I've gotten so many steel cases that didn't have any text and barely had any text on the front and there was definitely not on top or bottom or, or the right side. So you have the artwork to go after and decide which game it is. And sometimes the artwork is kind of, it, it, can't, it doesn't really convey what's, what the game is about or anything. So you're like sometimes trying to remember, which game was it that I bought? Uh, it's in a steel case, so I must have gotten the collector's edition. It's, it's a whole process. I like it to just say on the box, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk. Okay, now I know which game I got. I guess this is what we're at right now, these things on the side. First thing I see is that appears to be stickers. Company stickers. Do all of these contain cards? Are all of them the same? So seeing this icon indicates that this is the patches. I don't know what this is. This is a key or something? So next up are these patches that. Would anybody actually use these and by that I mean sew them or patch them onto their clothes? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you would actually use this. Like have it on your jacket or on your shirt and then go to, to the office or school or wherever you go to show them off. Let me know in the comments. Would you, would you use that? Would you do it? And next up, let's see, I believe this is pins and this would be the keychain that I've seen. So there's two pins in here the box looks like. Yep, two of them. Actually, I don't even need to take them out. They're displayed very nicely so you can see what they look like. And lastly, oh, this would be the card keychain. Uh, key key this is the keychain. This is like a chrome design, so it reflects a lot of light. So it might not be super visible, but
And that's actually it for this box. I actually did take a second to check if there's anything underneath and there isn't. This is just like a top part that holds all these things that I just pulled out. So there's nothing else in, in here. Which of course means there's only one thing left. This sucker right here. Oh boy. Now, I'm really excited about this one. This is the big one. The, the actual statue that I've seen in the promotion for the collector's edition. It's supposed to be really freaking sweet. And I guess it echoes the uh, Geralt fighting in the Griffin statue that everyone remembers from the collector's edition of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. And uh, this is just that, but Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I don't actually know the proper way to open this. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> First of all, it's in pieces. I didn't know that. It, okay, there's three pieces, admittedly, so that's it's not that much. I recently opened up a, an Alucard statue that had many more pieces, so this is more doable. This is also the size is obviously a lot smaller than that one, but I mean, wow. There we go. That's the base. So right off the bat, the one thing I noticed as soon as I opened this, there's a dude attached to the bike. He's literally being run over by the bike. Wow, wow, wow. This is what it looks like, folks. And there's the dude who's stuck on the front of the bicycle. It's just like this. I think his foot goes in here. Oops. That's it. There it is. Wow, okay. This is... This is pretty dope, I gotta say. This is really cool. He's literally flying off the bicycle as he's driving over somebody. There's a lot of nice little touches here and there. There's literally like food on the ground. A gun on the ground, I believe it's the guy that ran over. There's a lot of stickers on the motorcycle. Samurai, of course. I hope he calls the motorcycle Roach. I just, I just really hope that. <laughs> There you have it, folks. That's all. That's all she wrote. So what have, what have we seen so far? We've seen the controller with the docking station. We've seen the two statues with Johnny Silverhand and Male V. Two more coming next year. And we got this amazing statue that came with the collector's edition of the game. And some really nice goodies in here. Probably the best takeaway and the thing that I'm most excited about checking out in more detail would be the art book. It looked gorgeous. And I want to read all that background to all the locations and all the characters and all the lore. Uh, and I'm also super excited to just sit down and play the game. Every moment I'm just thinking like, oh, let me play the game. But tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, your thoughts, your opinions. Have you played the game? What did you think? Uh, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like and maybe even subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever we release, we release new videos. Check us out on Instagram. I post there fairly regularly. There's a lot of stuff there. You'll probably see all this there too. Also, a big thank you to everyone who watches this video. This is a new channel. We've got an uphill battle. So I appreciate you taking the time to check us out. It means a lot to me. And like I said before, check out the comment section and leave a like and so on. It means a lot and it helps push the channel forward. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.